All right, let's head on into chapter four. Well, the first part of chapter four, I guess. Ah, welcome to the Velvet Room. I know that voice. When I look around, I see an endlessly blue space that I've come to know well. It's the Velvet Room, a place where the ceiling, floor, and even the walls are a deep azure. It exists between mind and matter, and not far away from me sit two figures. Did I startle you? No, but... I'm sure that I opened the front door to leave for Juness. I don't remember it ever connecting to the Velvet Room before. Or is this a dream? I have business with you today, so I've summoned you. Marie? Another figure steps forth when Margaret, the resident of this room, calls to her. Sorry, I asked her to do this. There's something I have to do right now. Marie, or rather, the minor goddess who now protects this town, speaks cryptically of a crisis. What happened? I can't really tell you because of the rules of this room, but you've noticed, right? Something terrible is about to happen to this town. I'll do my best to stop it. But that won't even come close to being enough. So, you might end up in danger again. I see. Marie could be said to be one and the same with this town. Any problems with the town leads directly to problems with Marie, creating a burden on her. Marie's fighting this too. Leave it to me. I'll protect this town from whatever's coming. Marie looks surprised for a moment at my words. Then, she looks down and says nothing. Marie, are you okay? You stupid goody-goody womanizing lame -o. Just hurry and get out of here! That's a mean thing to say to a person worried about you. Well, that is like her. Still, she may be toughing it out, but I can tell this abnormality is eating away at Marie. <laughs> It seems you still have a lot to learn. You may have noticed, but your precious town faces an even greater threat than before. Someone is attempting to merge Inaba with the other world, which you once called the Midnight Channel. What? Fortunately, Marie's powers are currently protecting the townspeople. But that will not last long. What do you mean? A town that's become a labyrinth choked by fog and silence. Inaba exists in a unique time right now. Only Persona users, who have accepted their suppressed egos, are able to freely move about through the evil Red Fog. But at this rate, the fog will thicken, and those who cannot use such powers will be swallowed into this world. So that's what General Teddy meant by within the hour. <laughs> this will be the third ordeal thrust upon you. Or perhaps it is the continuation of the second. Will you overcome it with aplomb this time as well? Go. You can do this. And as for the culprit in this case... We can't tell you that. That's odd. Murray's voice is starting to sound hazy. And this sensation, I felt it before, is the feeling I get when I leave the velvet room. Wait, no! Murray's not done yet the culprit in this case. But before I can hear the most crucial part of Marie's message, my consciousness is slowly swallowed, swallowed by a darkness. When I come to, I'm standing in front of the Dojima residence. I can't just stand around here, though. As if to shake off my fears, I start running towards Juness. And it sounds like I'm just running in place. That's odd. I passed by here earlier, too. The same sign again. And turns that shouldn't exist. Just like Margaret said, the neighborhoods of Inaba have become a maze in this red fog. It really is just like the TV world. I get the feeling that shadows could come crawling out from the shadows of ordinary buildings, and I shake my head at such thoughts. Is this anxiety because of the fog too? 
Margaret called this a continuation of what happened the other day. When Labrys was thrown into the TV world, her kidnapper said, You got the better of me this time. If this is the continuation of the other day, that means he's already making his next move. The culprit's objective, then, was to gather powerful shadows. Is that what he's setting up to do this time as well? But something's bothering me. What is it? Is there something I'm missing? Just when I'm about to sort through the pieces once more, the red fog parts, and I see a familiar building in front of me. This is Juness. Why is it here? Out of the corner of my eye, I see a figure pass by and enter Juness through the front door. It's... Yosuke. What a relief to see him safe. But it looks like he didn't hear me, because he keeps going and disappears into Juness. Yosuke, wait! I hurry after him. The elevators aren't lit and don't seem to be moving, so I ignore them and run up the stairs. Yosuke looked like he was heading for the food court on the rooftop. I have to follow him. Yosuke! When I call out to the person standing in the food court, Yosuke turns around while gripping the fence and smirks. Yo, it's you! Well, I had a feeling someone would show up. That's what I was thinking too. Are you alone? Where's Teddy? Teddy? Oh, that useless ball of fur? <laughs> Something's not right. Teddy and Yosuke bicker all the time, but their bond of trust is stronger than anyone else's underneath it. But the way Yosuke talked about him just now had this obvious current of disdain to it. Are you really Yosuke? Who cares? Either way, you're done for. Plus, take a look at that. Yosuke points to what's behind me. When I turn to look, I see he's pointing at something beyond the red haze. On the hill beyond the distorted neighborhoods, most likely the site of Yasogami High, where I used to attend, looms a bizarre, long, and unnaturally thin shadow. What is that? When I rush over to the fence, the wind pushes away the fog, letting me see that thin shadow for what it really is, a grotesque tower that defies reality, Nothing like any normal building. The image of Mitsuru-san's people being crucified passes through my mind. Don't tell me. You understand the rules now? That's where you're headed. If you want to save your precious friends. And this world. I squint to try and get a better look at the tower through the fence, but the fog blows in again and conceals that ab ab abomination. There we go. As I continue to stare at it, hoping the wind would change, I sense Josuke move. As I react to Yosuke's move, Yosuke's persona comes charging in with tremendous speed, gouging the fence with its arm. What is going on here? A persona? And two Yosuke's? Don't be fooled! That's a fake me! Don't, Don't get, get in my way. way. Persona! The two Jiraiyas clash fiercely and an immense shockwave shakes up the surrounding air. As the personas cross swords, what look like sparks scatter all across the darkened food court. The two Yosukes summon their personas before my eyes. This guy's not me or my shadow. It's a fake that was made with a chunk of a shadow. A chunk of a shadow? General Teddy set this up. He supposedly made these things to force us to fight. Thing is, we can summon our personas here too. We have to beat them all and move on. The two Jiraiyas use the rebound of their powers to put distance between each other. Though the opponent is a fake, this shows their skills are perfectly matched. 
Yosuke, are you all right? <laughs> to be honest, I'm exhausted. But if this is more of the P1, we can't let ourselves lose. Oh, so you notice too. The culprit behind Lavers' kidnapping is doing this as well. Right. I don't know what they're after, but let's defeat this thing and keep going. <laughs> Morons! You still, still don't, don't get it, do you? you? You're both, both going, going down, down here. here. Don't act so tough. You might be a copy of me, but there's no way you can beat you and me at the same time. <laughs> Two, Two against, against one, huh? We're we'll being all fair and square, square but I see you'd rather, rather play dirty. Useless vermin who can't do anything unless you're a huddle together. You're completely forgetting the rules. The P1 climax is supposed to be all one-on-one -on -one battles. I'm not going to take on two of you at once. Now, bring on the ring. On the fake Yosuke signal, four red pillars fall out of the sky. The pillars tower over the food course surrounding both ourselves and the fake. They give off an eerie light. Whoa! What is this? Come on! First come, first serve! Oh, and I guess I'll tell you something else. Ignoring me and trying to run ahead will get you nowhere. Like I said before, if you want to stop the world from ending, you've got no choice but to head to Yasugami High. Now, though, you're already in the ring. Those red pillars create invisible walls. And there's no way to get rid of them but to win one on one. In other words, the only way you can save your world is for one of you to defeat me. Damn it. Invisible walls again? What are we gonna do? Can we trust anything he's saying? If I think about the way the previous P1 Grand Prix worked, there's no reason to doubt these invisible walls exist. There's no way to confirm what the fake Yosuke is saying, and even if there was, if beating him in a two-on-one fight resulted in us being trapped here, then it would be a hollow victory. Jeez, you just don't know when to give in! Can't you just go on and fight when it's not against your friends? You already know it's a fake! You. Yes, yes, it's the lovely General Teddy. I've been watching all this time, and what am I seeing? I poured my heart into making fakes who look exactly like you, all to set up a good fight. What more do you want? Can it? With all that fair and square stuff you were saying, were we somehow not supposed to think something's going on with all this? Yosuke, how cruel. I just want to feel your fighting spirit. Oh, this is fine with me, you know. At such a leisurely pace, the world really will be destroyed. Now, hurry up and fight to the death! <laughs> oh, that bastard. Even the fake one's not half as cute as he thinks. Calm down, Yosuke. Getting flustered is exactly what they want. Still, we have no choice other than to fight. We have no other choice than to fight the fake here. The question is, who will go up against it? Yosuke or me? Ooh, look at this, we're getting some choice here. Maybe we'll take this fight a little bit more seriously instead of just bursting and then straight to instant kill. There he hit me with some attacks. Well, that was not good. Let's end this. There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll finish it. It's over. Myriad of truths.
So we can take some of these fights kind of seriously. Even though you can kind of just cheese through them very quickly. 